Hi everybody! <laughs> um, I'm Zara and we're at the Plinky Plonky Loves You event. I'm joined here by the amazing band Millie McPherson, also known as Millie and the Men. Many fans here tonight. Um, so just to begin everyone, um, the latest issue of Plinky Plonky magazine, the theme of the magazine was the past. So if you could all sort of begin by introducing yourself, what instrument you play in the band and from your past where that sort of began for you. So let's start over here. My, uh, I am uh, Sonny, I play the drums for uh, Millie here um, and I have been playing drums for probably four years maybe and um, it all started with Oliver here as, a, as my, uh, one of my people to jam with and um, I started in a, in a band called uh, Bennett's Grove and uh, yeah, now I'm in a couple bands playing drums, like with Millie here, and uh, yeah. Um, I'm Millie, um, I'm a singer, and I play guitar as well. And I started singing when I was like a little kid, because I'm the youngest, so I like attention. And because of that, I kind of just like joined any curricular I could when I was little. And I did a lot of like drama, and then started getting into musicals and then realizing I'm not very good at being in musicals. So I kept the singing and now I still do it now and I like writing, so yeah. Respect as a fellow drama kid. Thank you. Moving along. I'm Oli, I play Lily guitar in the band. Uh, I've been playing this guitar for a while now. Probably, yeah, like four years, same as Sonny, I guess. Um, yeah, I used to jam with Sonny as a kid. Now he plays in my band, Demolition Man, and similarly in Millie's band. Um, yeah, that's, that's me, I guess. Hi, I'm Ben, and I've been playing bass uh, with Millie since, I believe, August of 2023. Um, and I started playing bass in January 2021. Uh, my dad dropped it over the day that I got uh, it tested positive for COVID. So I had about a week alone with this brand new toy and started playing from there and had some friends uh, show me a couple of things and then I joined a band with them called Lam. And yeah, then Millie actually referred me to Sonny for a little bit for Bennett's Grove, but I unfortunately had to leave that. And um, yeah, they just weren't good enough for me, I guess. And um, yeah, I thought Millie sort of held the standard. So when she asked me, I, I guess, you know, I just had to say, all right, if I have to. And uh, yeah, it's been great ever since. It seems like there's a lot of friendship crossover going on with your bands. Um, would one of you want to talk to me a bit about the friendship festival that went on and kind of like how you keep crossing over bands and is that what friendships all about yeah um thursday was it yeah it was not yeah, thursday. this last thursday we did the uh inaugural friendship festival extravaganza with me with everyone who's here plus our friend ricky who plays as machine and krieger and plays in my band demolition man plus Sam and Mia who play in Bennett's Grove. And because um, we're all good friends, I thought it would be nice to have a night of friendship. everyone playing, yeah, friendship and everyone playing together and uh, enjoying what we do for, for work, I guess now, because it's kind of becoming work, which is good. Um, and yeah, we had, we had a raffle at the end and we gave away some prizes and we all played a song together at the end of the set, and it was really fun. Really, f I broke a string. Sunny, uh, Ricky broke a Sunny's kick pedal. I broke a stick. Yeah, Sunny broke a stick in his set. My synth stopped working at some point, but it was so much fun. Um, now on to specifically um, your single "Take Me" from 2023. Um, I personally, the first time I listened to that was like on the train to Wollongong. It was very like in my feels listening to it. Um, and like a lot of the lyrics, like the one um, 
I wish my head was clear enough for you to stay. I really felt that with my own like mental health problems and what comes from them. Um, I guess I wanted to ask, because you were the song, the lyrics writer, um, is it difficult to write about like such struggles or is it kind of like a cathartic process for you? I would say with that song, it was um, like a form of comfort when I wrote it. Um, it was like in a songwriting phase where I was in an old band and my songs weren't really being used as like the, the main band songs. And it was the first time I wrote a song, I was really proud of it. And it was like the mental space of just being, feeling a bit held back, but also not really knowing if it was my fault or someone else's fault. And if it was like codependency and things like that. Um, I find it really, really cathartic writing music. It's a super great way to express bad mental health, good mental health, yeah. like experiences you can't really make of in any other way. Um, I really find that music is such a nice way to express it and it's just something that um, I feel very comfortable doing. So I like doing it. It's very positive for me. And like in the sound and also in one of the lyrics, um, I definitely heard a bit of a Courtney Barnett <laughs> influence. Um, how does like she influence your music? Uh, definitely like artists like Stella Donnelly and Courtney Barnett were my original inspiration when going into solo music because uh, I wanted to look at artists in Australia who like Missy Higgins as well, um, who are quite interesting and independent uh, female artists that have a music style that's quite reliant on the guitar and their stories. And yeah, Courtney Barnett's just such a beautiful storyteller. She's so interesting and put like raps humor throughout her songs, which I'm trying to do better. Yeah, I like, I like wrapping humor into my lyrics and not really, I guess not my Australian culture just yet, but I don't sing with an American accent. I try not to, kind of naturally falls into space. So exposing myself to artists who embrace the Australian accent is like, a really good way to help me write with that kind of authenticity. And then finally, as we're at the event, Plinky Plonky loves you. What's something that each of you love? Start over here. Yeah, playing music with people um, is great. I've just started uh, a TAFE course and a new job and I'm like full, you know, like seven to three every day and working outside, you know, gets pretty exhausting out in the sun and all that. So like having these afternoons and like even after work, yeah, just to play a gig or a rehearsal, just playing with people that you really feel that chemistry with is something that I really love. Yeah. Similarly, I would, I would uh, say the same, but for the sake of making this a different, uh, uh, an interview of variety. Um, I, I, I love playing my new micro Korg synthesizer. <laughs> There's so much fun stuff on that thing. Um, yeah, that's what I'm loving at the moment. I would say um, it's like a new love for me is getting to present my music to like the band. I love that they've like transformed all of my songs from like little songs I sing in my room to actually songs we can play to big crowds that they love it so it used to be something that I was very scared of but it's now like my favorite thing to do yeah playing live so I guess I'm stealing Ben's answer but it is a good answer I love it it's really it's awesome um I love Plinky Plonky yes yeah. um uh no I, I I also I mean I think I can agree with uh, the general re response here but um I really love and can't wait to keep recording with Millie because um, I like the more technical side, recording, mixing side of, of music. And um, yeah, I'm keen to just make more more songs. I love doing that. Um, getting it like out of just like the minds in the air and onto like a actual like device or like a physical thing. Um, it's really rewarding. So, yeah. You're all so kind and passionate. So, <laughs> love that. Really excited to see you guys play later at Plinky Plonky Loves You. Yay. Thank you.